Andres Jimenez, the shortstop, Ernie Clement, Stephen Kwan, Austin Hedges round out. Your Guardians line again later in the year. I don't know. I got to be on good behavior. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> There's a foul back to the screen. Oh, it's two. How about the X right side? Jason Castro behind the dish. So Martin Maldonado, Jeremy Pena, and Kyle Tuck. It's the mental grind of going out there every day. And some of our guys have gone through some stuff with their swings. I mean, you grind and you mentally grind. That's what go out there. They can just watch the game, have the off day, and then come back fresh in Seattle. Oh, elevated fastball. Can't square up somebody's fastball. That basically takes your soul away. It's like, <laughs> this is crazy. I can't get to his 94 yeah, plays like up. 97, 98. The only time Christian ever gets in trouble is when he flies his left fastball right up and in or up and away to left handed hitters. Oh, three nasty sliders to Ahmed Rosario, and he goes down on three pitches. Fastball, but then I would kill myself because I couldn't catch up to it. <laughs> You would beat yourself uh, yeah, up. Yeah, I beat myself up. So the only thing I would tell myself is but you, you're just not going to catch up to it. He rarely pitches down, though. He doesn't. So you, you're quick, and that's what Javier does. So these guys have only faced Javier as a reliever. So right now the message from the Guardians early batter. And when you're pitching at the top of the zone, it's tough to catch up. Four-pitch walk to Jose Ramirez. Normally so in the arsenal for Christian Javier. So Ramirez on first base now with two outs and a slider away to Owen Miller. I would pretty much beginners can see. It's actually hysterical. <laughs> Did you know the sign when they called for a pickoff from the dugout? No. Pretty big lead here by Ramirez. He stays and the pitch is fouled out of play. Run yeah. even more, right? Yeah, exactly. So you're going. He's going, swing and a miss, doesn't matter. Miller goes down on strikes. Christian Javier. The biggest difference for him and Jason Castro catching him said this is a guy that tries to get better in between every single start. And the slider actually Jason thought was the best they'd seen it this year. So we'll see how it looks on Friday against the. He still has some of that in the tank, but he pitches. I think a bunch of those wins that he's had have come after a loss. Um, you know, he. And I certainly appreciate him wearing our uniform. It's unprecedented. We've yeah. gone through and you guys once you get ahead of guys and you're throwing that high fastball It's really hard to catch up there it is. Just like that because you get in his breaking ball. It's just a tough guy to cover It's nice to have this guy as your number six to begin the Unbelievable. season Never mind what he's done in the bullpen for us, right? I mean he's uh, What he can do for us and his demeanor and everything about him is just great and that's the pitch right there that I'm talking <laughs> Yeah. Two and zero to Jimenez, and there you go. The thing about Javier to you, and it's so fluid the motion that it's just deceiving and how hard it gets to you. I mean, that was a two zero pitch right down the middle, and he couldn't catch up to it. Tell you something. That that thing on the, I know it, I know it helps people understand where strike zone is on the, yeah. that thing, and I, and I get it, but I think umpires are they're <laughs> going to be able to correct that. I know, but you, yeah, but who's the guy that's going to do that? A little punch shot into right, and Jose Siri is there to make the catch for the final out. See some of the players and going into the cages and batting and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't even think I mentioned that part. When you met Luis Garcia, how long did it take you to get it down like Luis Garcia? Uh, two or three days. Yeah. So how did you do it? Um, so yeah, not hard at all for you. How's it working out though? How is your season going? Uh, well, now we're the season we did Marcus Stroman the toe tap. And so we just wanted to do a different pitch like that, something like that. Yeah, this one's way. Are you nervous out there? Yes, very nervous. Did it help having Luis behind the dish catching you? Yes. Well, I appreciate it. No, Dad's here. Too. Hasn't, he smiles like that even when he pitches in the dugout. <laughs> he's like the happiest guy I've ever seen in my life. Really? He's pretty, yeah, he's he, always he smiling. Is, he is. It, it's a rare time when we show Luis. It's crazy when he's not smiling. I know. I told my wife that the other day. I said, Look at, he's going out on the mound. He's sitting there shaking everybody's hand, smiling like crazy. <laughs> Get out here. And throw that first pitch to Luis Garcia. Rosario keeps battling here. That's what he got him with the first time up. He struck him out on the slider. Forget about it. I'm just going to go with the gas in the outside corner at 95. It's nice to have two weapons like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his demeanor, the way he goes about his business, it really is entertaining. I say entertaining. It's not entertaining. It's just more... The professionalism that I see out of him is is great. He never complains about when he was in the bullpen that I should have been a starter. Really glad to have him here. Completely unfazed by anything. Anything. With him high five before the game or anything like that. He doesn't change. He doesn't. I don't even think he smiles. 
Somebody in the clubhouse mentioned that if the clubhouse ever. Let's, I'll just get out of here now. If, <laughs> walk let, me get, let me get my stuff first. <laughs> Uh, it's a perfect way to actually think about it. This game as Ramirez bats here with one out in the fourth. And he takes that one down and in three and two. From 293 with 40, 43 RBIs, 42. This one 43. popped up. Playable for Alex Bregman. Christian Javier got in there and picks up a second out of the inning. That's a big guy to get out. Made his pitches right there, and he's out. You mentioned how much Luis Garcia smiles. The only time we see Christian Javier smiles when yeah, he, he's stone faced. Yeah, there. he's stone faced. You know, we've seen him have some really good games out, of ugly, whatever. You don't change. Uh, and the same with hitters. There's no different in pitchers. How about that? A 2-0 pitch that he gets a little weak pop up into center field. Mauricio Dubon comes in and makes the play. Hey, Baggy was impressed with your ability to move, maneuver through the stadium as quickly as you It's do. unbelievable. I swear I just looked. But I, yeah, I appreciate you noticing. Yeah, it's just some, I still think I still like the Bernie Brewer thing better. <laughs> you have some slide around the corner that goes right to the corner of the dugout. Over Shoots there. me out. Yeah. <laughs> Julia had a chance to check out that Bernie Brewer slide last. I'd go on the train. Okay. I smell a feature. I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm <laughs> up on the train. <laughs> Oh, two to Josh Taylor. <laughs> oh, he almost. That's the pitch you give up. Oh, oh he went to the breaking ball. Trying to drop another one in there, right? You would think, yeah. Swing and a miss. That's what you called for. Yeah. Just wasted the pitch. Straight year. It just doesn't matter. It doesn't. Well, there you start with the strike. So now he's at 50 50. He has two of the three toughest yes, strikeouts exactly right. in all of baseball. The other guy you were asking about uh, first time up. Just blow him away again. Oops. Javier, 42 strikes of his 68 pitches so far. So just keep pumping. Back. Pumping heaters. There's Dude. the breaking ball. Hits it to right. Siri turned around and makes the play for. So cool. He was not cool that day. He was kind of weird up there. Hey, listen, I've been on, I've been, my, my family made me take. Wasn't a good family trip? No, it was. But Let's that, talk about that moment. There's not a lot of good things coming out of my mouth. I was not happy. Oh. So, no, I didn't, I don't, I don't, I think about the worst possible things that can happen. That would be quite a story for Cooperstown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One I watched from the other side. One and two the count to Ernie Clement. Boom, oh, boy. Oh. I don't even notice enough. Well, I do, because they make me, but I hate it. <laughs> a little broken bat punch shot to left coming off Brantley and that's going to fall in for the first hit of the night for the Guardians. Just off the end of the say hey. No. No. Never been on a roller coaster you've liked even as no, a kid. Absolutely not. No. You, no. You and Blumer have a lot in common. You both like the dirt the, the cleats on the dirt. Yeah. For the uh Shift. There's Blummer. It's not so bad. He's actually videotaping it. Yeah, he got he got into That's it. That's no bueno. And it wasn't. Yeah, he was not comfortable. There's a strike. See, people that go but, you know, like every day. Like, oh, I'm gonna go. By the heck of it, I'm gonna walk into a tiger's cage. No, that's see, that's good. cool. Yeah. Pick up a strike out here. That's a tough. That pass. would be a tough one. How well do you get to know Tito over the years? Tito's his father. Two counts to Quan. Clement on first after a single in the left. Dude, come on, man. Quan keeps battling here. This guy at the beginning of the season, Baggy, had a stretch where he went 10 for 15 with seven his first five major league games. Oh, my God. That there one popped go. in the air. Fair ball. Bregman out. Brantley in. Alex calls off Michael and puts it away. 20 of them. Here's a called strike to Austin Hedges. So that's five in a row. Christian's allowed one hit and one walk through five innings. And he's been getting a lot. Starts the inning with 82 pitches. This might be his final inning as he picks up a strikeout. That is, is number nine matching. He was like, hey, we can get you a new pair of pants, new shirt. He's like, no, I'm good. It became a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. <laughs> the Christian Javier coffee game. Julia, we were saying he smiles for your social media posts. Oh, the pregame pick. Yeah. Yep. 
That started last year, and it's can be Javier. He's like, I'm ready for my picture <laughs> by himself. Other days they get people to, to smile with them, like Fromber, Luis Garcia, Jose. Yeah, I've seen both of them. The faces, I can't get over. They get, they just, it's part of the pregame routine. And I have to be ready because if I'm not ready, I get <laughs> semi photo bombing without, they, without knowing. They invited him on his first day as an Astro. I love that. That is. Well, they're like the nicest kids ever. And I do it then. Sometimes I'm, I'm working and they, they don't like when my timing of my hits get a while. He's yeah. so happy. All that guy does is smile. Okay, well, this is the only thing that's going on right now. We are really rooting. For, I don't care how many pitches it takes. We need to strike out right now. The one up it is. There's there it is. Making a miss. Strike two. Okay, we got him on. Ground ball. Bregman can't make the play. It's in the left field. Rosario on a 1 2 pitch. Singles in the left. Just the second hit election is very thin. Pitch down to Ramirez. 1 0. Ryan Stanek warming up. That ball hit down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Siri gets to it in a hurry. That is going to keep Rosario uh -oh. from scoring. They throw to second, and Ramirez gets in with a double.